Okay, I'm going to show you how to purchase a book or how to find your books when you're purchasing them off our bookstore website. So you start by going to the Delgado page, www.dcc.edu. Click on student, hover over student services and click on bookstore. And that's going to open up uh, the bookstore's web page uh, here. You can see we are doing free shipping due to COVID and not being able to get on campus. They're going to free ship all your books to you. And you're going to hover over textbooks and click on find textbooks. Um, so you can see here, you're going to select your campus, Delgado Community College. And this, this option, this Delgado Community College, will cover all of our campus locations, although there is a separate location for the West Bank. Even if you choose this first one, it'll cover you regardless of which campus you're at. Um, so since we're in the summer semester, I'm going to choose summer for now. And so the department has a lot of different options, but uh, you're going to focus on uh, the choices that are that are uh, based on our divisions. So arts and humanities, um, business, communication, technical, allied health, Delgado Charity School of Nursing, uh, science and math. So all of the codes, these are all the department codes you're gonna need in the corresponding division, as well as the courses, uh, the prefixes to the courses that you're taking. So all of the courses fall under one of these department codes. Uh, and those are listed on our website here under online bookstore under student services. Uh, so when you are on the website, you can kind of disregard these other codes that are listed here uh, and just focus on the ones for the courses. And so let's say you're taking a speech course. We're going to put that in there. And let's do a science and math. So we'll pick a biology course. Uh, under our communications division, let's say you're doing CCSS. And we'll put that under there. Uh, just to add another division in there, let's do business. It's going to be accounting. So once you've chosen all of your books, you can add more courses. If you if four is not enough sections, you can you know click to add more courses. Uh, you're going to hit find materials for your courses. So once you click on that, it's going to give you the books that you need for those classes. Uh, so you may see something that says wait for class. That means the instructor wants you to wait until your first day of class before you purchase this book. Uh, so anything that you have, wait for class, you may really want to wait until that first day before you purchase those books. Um, otherwise, you can select the format that you want your book. Uh, so you can buy it new or used. And you can rent as well. So some students may want to rent because it's a little bit cheaper than, um, than buying your books. I would recommend renting for books you maybe aren't planning on keeping. Um, and then you have to return those to the bookstore. So once you've chosen all of them, you just go to the bottom, add your three items or however many items you have to your cart. Uh, once you've done that, it'll show your uh, list of books that you have. Uh, and then you're going to go to checkout. So when you go to checkout, that's where you'll be able to see if you're using a bookstore credit to purchase your books. Um, whatever amount your bookstore credit is will be applied at the checkout time uh, so that you can uh, see what the balance will be. So sometimes it'll cover all your books. Sometimes it'll be a portion of your books. Uh, but when you go to the checkout, that is when it's going to show your credit. Uh, so you do need to create your account. Uh, if you're planning on renting or uh, purchasing books, it links to your student ID number. Uh, you want to select your shipping options, your payment options, and then submit your order. So all of the rest of these steps are pretty straightforward. Uh, and then you just go through with purchasing your books. And that's it. Thank you.